here with men's soccer coach Pete Watkins. Coach, conference kicked off on, on Wednesday. You guys were at Augsburg. Obviously not the result you want with a 5-1 loss, but talk a little bit because I know we've talked off camera. The performance from the guys wasn't quite as poor as you may think with a 5-1 setback. Yeah, it was uh, definitely a weird set of numbers to see given you know some of the chances we created on the night. Um, but also I think you have to take your hat off to Augsburg, particularly their, their first and their last goal were quite good. Um, two penalties in yeah. the game, um, you know, that kind of says a lot right there. So, um, but yeah, we were, there was actually some positives to take away from it for our guys, I think. Um, we had a lot of young players on the park, and so for them it was an experience, um, you know, in the Mayak like, uh, like no other really. Um, very interesting environment, and um, our guys kind of looked around and figured out, all right, now we're in the conference. Let's talk a little bit from your perspective, and then if you could kind of step into a player's perspective, how do you take this game, learn from it, but more importantly, put it behind you because St. John's is coming to town on Saturday. Yeah, no, a great team in St. John's, you know, really well coached, and they've definitely got a good collection of talent. So I think one of the, the takeaways for our guys is that, you know, you look at, all right, first half to second half, you know, what were our good moments in the match, you know, what were some positives to take away from it? Because um, it's, you know, first conference game, and uh, this season kind of came up pretty early in terms of when we start playing conference games uh, in the Mayak. So, um the flip side of that is we've got a couple injuries that guys are going to have to, other guys are going to have to step up. So we're looking forward to, to seeing how they perform. Let's talk a little bit about Saturday, not soccer related. Um, kind of a special day for you guys on, on Saturday with Solomon Song. Talk a little bit about that and, and, and what you guys are doing kind of to just show support for a, for a very worthy cause. Yeah, we've partnered with a, a nonprofit here in town named Solomon Song. Uh, based on uh, creating, taking away the stigma in mental illness, and um, they've been very effective in our community. Uh, they have a very deep connection to soccer and to soccer players here in Winona, um, so we're really proud to, to be partnering with them just to raise awareness on, on mental health and, and the stigma that sometimes surrounds it. Um, there's also be a promotion for the John McCutcheon concert, which will be here in Winona on October 1st. So we're using our event on the 17th to, to kind of promote his event and the connection to Solomon's song, which is, a, a, as you said, a tremendously worthy cause. And now let's talk on the field, uh, keys against St. John's. I know that's a very tough opponent. What uh, What's going to be the secret for you guys without giving away the game plan, of course? Right. Yeah, we don't want to give away the game plan, for sure. Um, I think for our guys uh, in particular, it's, um, you know, we had uh, a match with them. past couple of years, we've always been able to, um, to be ready for some of the um, – gamesmanship, I guess we call it, or some, some of the stuff that kind of goes on between young men between 18 and 22. And, and frankly, Wednesday's match really kind of prepared them for that. I think they realize, um, you know, it's a Mayak game. Everybody's throwing a lot of stuff in there, and, and you're going to hear things and see things and all that, and you just you got to play. And so I think our guys are well suited for um, just dealing, you know, with that environment. Flip side of it, too, I mean, they typically they're the most athletic team, I think, in the conference. I mean, you're going to see just, you know, a big, fast group of players. So our guys have to be ready to deal with that and then find ways to, to score and, and obviously put the ball in the back of the net. How nice will it be? You've played six games. Five of them have been on the road. Nice for you guys to be back home on Saturday. And, and, and again, talk about the importance of playing at the Okramovich, but also under the lights. Yeah, and uh, I almost forgot what our field, you know, feels like to play on. We've been away quite a bit here to start the season. And uh, we're very grateful to St. John's, too, for being willing to play, you know, make it a night game to, to kind of help celebrate the event. So I think there'll be a good energy level uh, probably to both teams. I think, you know, everybody likes playing under the lights. So when we have visiting teams come here, they seem to enjoy it. Uh, we have some other teams in the conference that ask us, you know, if we can play under the lights when we host. So um, I think this is going to be a great night for soccer. You know, we hope the weather cooperates and, and looking forward to the promotion of some of the other events going on that day. 7 o'clock, Saturday evening, Oak Field against St. John's. Good luck, Coach. Thank you.